County Sligo was my home. All right, so what we're doing here at the Heritage Festival at Danville this year is replicating what are called Sherman neckties. When General Sherman went down through the South, uh, one of his orders was to make sure that the Union troops destroyed the Southern rail lines so that they could never be reused. Um, and they did that, exactly that. So the first step of the process was to rip up the rails and put them into a real hot fire, try to get them red hot. And then what you're gonna see is come over here, with men on each side, try to bend it around a stump. Twist it any way they can so they could never be reused. War we never understood. Yes, we'll rally around the flag, boys, rally once again. Shouting the cry of freedom. Riots in New York and Pottsville. Taking us all against our will. I just come from one war with Barry dead. Now more and more green, soaked blood red. Irish fighting Irish, another civil war. I ain't so sure I can take it in here. Should I raise a gun or should I cut and run? Cause all that's dying is all that's fun. Yes, we'll rally around the flag, boys, rally once again. Cry of freedom. Some of the irony is some of Sherman's own men were actually uh, Pennsylvania boys that worked in the Danville Iron Works helping to make T-rails. Because of course Danville was the first place in America where a T-rail was made and they did it using anthracite coal here. So kind of a, a, a crazy uh, full circle story where these guys helped make the T-rails and now they're down south during the war destroying those same T-rails they helped make. We'll rally around the flag. Hey, look at the fire. Yeah. Was the spring of '65. Somehow I was still alive. From Fort Stedman they came. That damn rebel yell again. From the battle's smoky haze, I thrust my musket into the maze. We drew the blade soaked in red. It was a sly old man who failed it. The circle closed, and oh, so many. Yes, we'll rally round the flag, boys, rally once again. Shout, cry of freedom. 